Hi everyone, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you will hit the subscribe button and stick around. I wanted to come on here today to do a different type of video that I normally do. It isn't a beauty related video. It is a handbag video because my birthday is in December and so is Christmas and my anniversary is January 3rd. So usually around the holidays, is when I will splurge or have my family splurge on a nice handbag for, for myself. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna be doing that this year, but I did wanna show you a brand of handbags that I really love. It's a very mid-range handbag brand, meaning that it is more than $100. Um, they can go up to like $400 depending on the bag, but you can often find them on sale at Nordstrom Rack and um, on the sale rack at, at nicer department stores like, um, you know, Von Mauer or Nordstrom, Sex Fifth Avenue, um, just nicer department stores, but you will often find them on sale or at Saks Off Fifth or Nordstrom Rack, like I said. So you can definitely bargain hunt these bags. And it is a brand that I've known about for a very long time and have always loved. So I was gonna feature this brand today for you. Um, I am not affiliated with this brand. I received nothing for free. They don't know who I am. I haven't received an email or anything. It's just a brand that I really enjoy carrying and I really like and I just thought I'd share it with you. So I'm gonna start with some of my newer bags that I have um, purchased by this brand. And my newest one, oh, the brand is called Hobo Original. And they used to be called Hobo International many years ago. And I don't know why they had the name change, but it's Hobo Original now. And I'll link their website in the description box. I don't think I've ever purchased a bag off of their website just because I know you can find them on sale elsewhere. So just um, keep that in mind. You could always go to their website and look to see what kind of bags they have or one that you like and then look for it on sale somewhere. So this bag, and I don't know the names of any of these bags, but I will link them in the description box. So this is a, a recent purchase and it is a hobo style bag. And what I really love about the bags is that they're made with this, I don't know what you call this, oil rubbed leather, where the leather has a little bit of a crumbled, um, distressed appearance, but it's also kind of shiny too. And I really like that. And this particular bag has a pocket in the back that you could fit a cell phone into. And then it has a cute little zipper right here in the very front. And you could just put like a, just a lip gloss or key. It's just like a little pocket and it doesn't go all the way through. It's just a pocket that you could easily reach your hand into. These bags are very light. They are not heavy bags, and I think that's why I am so drawn to them, um, because they don't hurt to carry. It's got a cute, cute little braided strap, and then it has this to make it a little more comfortable as it sits on your shoulder. And then the other really special thing about these bags are the linings. The linings are always so pretty, and this bag has this cute little floral print turquoise and orange lining and it has the hobo label it has all your usual pockets that you find in a good well-made bag it's got the zipper pocket and then it's got a, a large pocket that does not have a zipper right beneath it it's got another pocket that is the perfect size for a lip gloss you you just your finger can fit in there um, something very small and then on the other side there's more big pockets kind of going around the bag so you can stick lots of essentials in those pockets and then it's just a deep bag and i'm going to show you what it looks like on my shoulder but this is my most recent hobo bag and i am loving this bag i have black on today so it just sort of blends in but it is a nice length it fits well over a coat it's like the perfect drop, I think. You could have a bulky coat on and it would still fit. Um, and it is just a very, very well-made bag. Closes with a zipper, so everything's safe and tucked away in there. And that's my first bag. 
And all the bags, of course, have matching wallets you could purchase with them. I did not get a wallet to match that bag, but I did purchase this wallet. And it's black, so it does match, but it's not the, I, it's not the matching wallet for that bag. Um, and I love these wallets. I have several of these types of wallets and I'm just going to show you the colors I have. This one's for summer and it's got a cute pattern on it. You could use them as a clutch or a wallet. And then I have, this is very old, this orangey color one I've had for many, many years and I love it. And I'm going to just show you on this one how they look on the inside. So, um, okay, so they have a magnetic closure that's pretty strong. And then when you open it up, you have a spot for your driver's license and three cards that you need to have at your access very easily. It has a zipper pocket here that's pretty deep. You could put anything in there, bills, um, more cards, whatever you need. And then it closes and then one side opens and it's aligned with a pretty lining and lots of slots for your pockets. I mean for your pockets, for your cards. And more on this side. So it's just got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pockets on this side with one large pocket and then another large pocket on this side plus the center. Then you go to the other side and it's got a zipper pocket here that zips closed and just another pouch in here. So these are just lovely wallets. These would also make a great gift for someone. You can get them, they're usually about $100, $120. I can't remember, I'll link them full price. I always get them for about $80 on sale at department stores. I just watch for them or on Nordstrom Rack. Nordstrom Rack always has a stockpile of them, at least the ones, the one by my house does. So these are all exactly the same on the inside. Um, this one has a different color lining and all the same pockets that I showed you on both sides. So this is a classic that they always carry and the white one has a really pretty lining as well. I just, they seem so special and almost kind of vintage and nicely made. I really like them. They have the kiss lock closure on both of the sides here bag I have and this one they still sell this is I know this is the patty and it looks like this it's a tote bag a nice size tote bag and it is the same oil rubbed leather this one has a cute little orange and turquoise lining with little little shapes on it there's a big pocket right here just to stick like I don't know your debit card something you would need I don't know what you would put in there I don't really use it that often but there's a little pocket right there I still have things in here. I use this bag a lot. Um, it's got a zipper pocket here. Um, two pockets alongside the zipper pocket. And then two more on this side. So it's a very well organized tote. It's not just one big center pocket, although it looks like it the way my, my Things are still in here. I had this one for several years. They still sell this one in many colors. I chose the black. It's just a nice classic bag. And I will also show you how I carry this one. So you can see, nice. The straps are the perfect length. This one is a little more structured at the bottom and it has the feet. And, um, you know, it could fit over a coat. It looks great in the summer with black sandals and a summer dress. I don't even mind carrying this black bag in the summer. Um, but it's just, it just looks to me, it looks, I hate to use the word classy, but it just looks like a nice, classy, well-made bag. No big labels on it, just simple. Very, very long lasting. This is one of my very first bags that I got when I think it was still called Hobo International, and I still have it. And this bag must be, I wanna say 10 years old. And it's black, again. I only have one more black one. Um, the little pocket with the adorable lining. Then you open it like this. It has a magnetic closure and it has the really nice colorful lining, all the essential pockets that these bags are known for having, a zipper pocket, the two pockets here, the two big pockets here, and then the big center. Um, it closes with a magnet 
and then this just folds down like this and both of the straps go up like that and I don't think they still make this bag although if you could find one on eBay or Poshmark this bag has been very well used and loved and there's no signs of wear on it at all so I would think nothing of buying a secondhand bag like this you could probably find it for a fraction of the cost if you like this style I'll see if I could track down the name of this one I'm not sure that I can still but that's my first one then last year in the year before I went kind of on another little spurt of hobo original handbags and I purchased several they were on sale at my department store and I bought one and then I kept thinking about the other one so I went back and got that one and then I saw they had it in two colors and then I I chose one and I was carrying it all winter and then I went back toward the end of the winter and the, the other one was still there it was marked down even more so I just purchased that one too so you know I'm one of those people if I love something I'm gonna get it in several different colors so you've seen this one before I've shown you this in one of my purse videos before I love this one this color is called cloud it's a big crossbody bag they this is the smallest bag I have but I am a big bag person so um, but they do make many smaller size bags and crossbody bags so you can definitely find those this one has a beautiful lining blue and hot pink and the same pockets zipper pocket two pockets alongside that and then the two pockets here so the pockets always seem to be essentially the same in all the bags this one has a nice zip top closure it has a pocket here for a cell phone and then it has these two pockets and they don't connect one is a deep pocket here and then the second one is a little less deep and it's here so you can easily get to your essentials but they're secure because the the zipper holds them safely in there and it's a crossbody bag with an adjustable strap I have it about on the middle the middle um, notch here and it just hangs at my hip and I really love this bag when I need my hands free and I use this bag a lot it's one of my favorite crossbody bags so and it's also kind of the shiny oil rubbed leather all our bags are I think they recently started making bags that are not that don't have a shine to them and you can see those on their website um, another bag I have and this is another newer style and I got this one for the spring and summer last year and it's similar to the other bag the hobo style bag but it's not the same this is the black one and it's similar in that they both have this middle zipper here and they're a hobo style but that's really and the pockets of course are the same on the inside um, but the strap is different and um, this one's a little more structured on the bottom and this one is definitely more of a hobo it doesn't have you know it just hangs so this has the same pockets the cell phone pocket on the outside the beautiful lining and then the zipper pocket the two pockets and the two pockets on the side and it's really um, a deep nice nice bag and I love the strap on this one they're all unique it seems like every detail of these bags has been well thought out from the zipper poles they ha usually have um, they're great quality zippers they're very smooth and they always have like a little decoration on them of some sort and I'll show you how and I love the color of the hardware on this one with this color bag it's kind of like a not a shiny brass I'm not sure what you'd call that um, a little bit golden I'm gonna show you how this one hangs again I could wear it with my coat and it's just they're so nice with just jeans and you could carry them very casually or you could dress them up I do have a wallet with this one and I must have taken it out of this bag and used it with a different bag because I couldn't find it when I wanted to um, make this video but I'm kind of bummed because the wallet I have for this one is very cute and it's different than the other wallets so if I find it later I'll show it to you in a different video the next bag is a more recent purchase too within the past couple years 
and it's another hobo style bag and it's this lovely brown color it has a nice pocket here on the side with the usual fun lining I like the lining so much because you can find anything inside the bag it's not like a big black hole the same pockets that they always have in a really fun lining and this one has silver hardware and I really like this bag when I'm wearing jeans. This one has a magnetic closure. So, and the magnet is pretty strong, so it does close your bag um, nice and securely. And this bag is really nice when I have jeans on or just brown boots and just want a nice casual bag that still looks really nice. So there's this one. And then the next one is the one that I purchased in two different colors. This one's more of a darker reddish brown, and they still sell this one. I got this one last year. It has the cell phone pocket, and this one has great organization because it has one big pocket here with your zipper pocket, two pockets, two on this side, just like I showed you in all the other bags. And then it has another, so this closes with a magnetic closure, the first pocket, and then right alongside of it, you see that is a zipper pocket and you could put anything in here that you want to be zipped very securely and this one does not have any pockets on the zipper side so all the internal pockets are on the the side that has the magnetic closure which I like because on that side of the bag there isn't a zipper but there is a zipper closure inside that part so it closes with a magnet but there's a zipper on the pocket inside so nobody can get into your bag so if you're traveling or something and this is how this bag looks when I carry it again I think the perfect length drop for the strap and I like the silver the goldish hardware on this one the hardware is just amazing it doesn't scratch up it doesn't no matter how long you have the bag it will really hold up and then there's a cute tassel on the zipper as usual and this one, I have a wallet that matches. And this wallet um, has a pocket here and the lining matches the bag. And then the pocket for all your cards and things like that. And then another pocket that for anything you'd like. You could even use this as a clutch because it has a strap. And then when you zip this closed, it has this little turn lock closure and so this is the wallet for that purse and sometimes I just like to take the wallet out and use just the wallet so I really like this and then I have that same bag in this color <laughs> and I won't even go through all the features because you already saw it but this is just a nice gray color oil rubbed leather so it's very nice um, the tassel on the zipper it still has the same gold toned hardware which I really like usually gray bags have silver hardware I really liked that the zipper and the clasps or the straps have um, gold toned so I just think it makes it look a little dressier so there's this one and then last but not least I don't know that they still sell this bag but I love this bag and I'm not gonna get rid of it for a very long time. It's black, <laughs> no big surprise. It has the nice rings around the straps that are very sturdy and durable. It has a silver um, zipper here. And the, the again, the fun lining. Adorable little, little doodad on the zipper. Two zipper pockets that have, this one doesn't have any pockets on the inside, nor does this one. And these um, pockets that have the zippers on them are not the whole depth of the bag. You could stick your hand in there. It could hold plenty, but it's not the whole depth of the bag. But then in the middle is a magnetic closure, and here it has a zipper pocket, the two pockets here, the two pockets here that they always have, and just a nice big storage area for uh, iPad or all your junk in. Here's how it looks.
and I just love these bags. I'm not someone who doesn't like logos on bags. I mean, I don't like logos on bags that look tacky, but I do think Louis Vuitton bags are beautiful, and I like Michael Kors. But I love these bags. They are so understated and well-made, and that they don't have um, any logos all over them. Um, I noticed that they sell a lot of these bags in um, catalogs that I like, like Garnet Hill or that Sunset catalog that um, Robert Redford started a company. Um, it's sort of like Western um, ranch, distressed, you know, just good classic clothing, and they sell them in there sometimes too. So I guess that kind of just tells you a lot about the company and the, the durability that they try to put into their bags. I like the straps on this one too because they're thicker here and then thinner where they hang. So it gives you, it just hangs very comfortably. I feel like every detail in these bags has been thought of. The comfort, the durability, um, they just last and last and they are among my favorite brand of bags. So I wanted to just come on here and show them to you. Sorry it was so long and I have so many. I actually have a couple more um, older ones or one is for a night out when you're getting dressed up. And if you'd like to see that one, I can show it to you in another video. But um, I just wanted to come on here and show you this brand in case you're thinking about getting a new bag and you wanna definitely spend less than $400. Um, but you want the quality that will last for a very, very, very long time, then I would definitely check out Hobo Original Handbags. And like I said, this isn't a sponsored video. They don't know who I am. I'm just a lover of the bags. So anyway, that's all this video is about today. I thought I'd come on here and tell you, if you like this type of video, give it a thumbs up because I definitely am a handbag collector. I never really thought of myself as a collector, but I have a lot of handbags and certain brands I give a lot of loyalty to. So I have several types of bags from certain brands. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, I can show them to you. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Have a great day.